everybody! Have you ever wondered what it would be like to run a pawn shop? Or have you ever wondered what it would be like to run a pawn shop in space? We'll look no further than Intergalactic Pawn Shop. We can be like Rick Harris, Chum Lee, and Corey, and everyone else that we know from the Discovery Channel show called Pawn Stars. So let's go ahead and start this thing up, and we'll see about how we can make a profit off of intergalactic stuff. The Earth has become an, an uninhabitable, irradiated desert. In order to survive, humanity had to flee. It is 22,210. Those who are able to escape and set on the planet of Korra. Korra is a hotbed of revolutionaries, corporate spies, and seeking all seeking to shape the planet's future as if it isn't enough. The tension between a human and an alien lark is reaching a boiling point and even the actions of an employee could influence the destiny of all. Are you ready to change history? Yes I am. Oh yeah, we're here in the in, right here in the pawn shop, we're here to make money, and at the same time we're possibly going to get humankind to be in the worst possible trouble. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. I'm all ears. Okay, let's start with the computer. Any objects going into here can be attracted to quick research. Here you can... Your phone, so spectrometer, weight scale, and magnifier. Okay, thanks. And you have the turbo lift. Turbo lift button used to invite the next customer. Got it. I almost forgot, the items you may have, the items you may buy have damage, may have been damaged, damages, and may look dirty. Use the repair station to the left to repair and clean. There's also a grinder inside to get rid of the items in exchange for raw materials. Um, you want to sell the items, place them on the shelf of your display area, people will buy them for you directly. That's all for now, don't forget to feed the cat. Neighbors are playing due to noise. Okay, sure. There you go, we fed the cat. Give the 6th of August, 2210. Alright, let's begin on our first customer. Gatsby, oh the great Gatsby. Okay, so we got the Great Gatsby here. Okay, uh, let me look. Let me have a look at my computer database. Okay, these are Vision Pro. Uh, produced by Pineapple Inc. It approximately weighs 520 grams. Um, uh, and is uh, adaptive features may not always adjust currently to lighting conditions. Meanwhile, people who couldn't afford to buy tickets off the Earth. Off the old world, all off the old Earth, were left in their fate. It emerged in the Vision Pro headsets as the world ended around them. Okay, so that's cool. Like, if you're gonna go down to, like, it's the end of the world, and the last thing you wanna do is go in over to VR chat. <laughs> okay, I'm down for that. Okay, so it needs to weigh 520 grams. Item weighs 520 grams. Yeah, okay, looks looks like it needs a further inspection. Yeah, 520 grams. This is a pair of old VR tech. Oh, and gee, they are more valuable than I expected. Yep, even, the even if it's fake, it is worth that much, but it's a genuine article. Yeah, it's a genuine article. Okay, kitty. Okay, um, even the scrap is 80. What are you offering? Um... Well, let's see. Um, uh, the guys... Let's see... These are the genuine thing, so I say we're not going to shortchange him right now. We're going to give him a hundred. 
Okay, he got it. Yep, you are the most honest seller I have ever seen. Thank you, I recommend the shop. Nice, thank you. Next customer, please. What you got? Okay, hey there, Frank. Uh, hey, buddy. Spill the beans. What crazy adventure have you gotten to today? A marvel of fire and steel and ancient art of death. Hold your horses. I will check the material on my spectrometer. Okay, let's... Okay, maybe adjust you like so. Okay, lithium, iron, nickel, aluminum, copper, silver, platinum, gold, uranium, and silicon, titanium. Okay. Okay, um. However, scammers often think productions of the market the best way to sneak machine. From fake is its material. Traditionally, katanas way katanas contain more than 60, 58 to 60% iron. You have it down for 42% iron. 42% iron compared to compared to 58. So let me do it again. I just want to make sure. Yeah, 42, and 58% iron. So, this, this sort's a fake. Okay, where did you find this? I found it in my grandfather's basement. This belongs to my great, 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 You know, I'm not even sure grandfather. He was a samurai. He used curved swords in battle. Uh, they call these swords katanas, and they're the and this is a genuine historic piece. Um, you don't say, but I don't want to hurt your feelings. You don't say, I don't want to hurt your feelings. Um, feed the cat? Okay. Um, sorry Mike, if you want to negotiate, we can, but... But this is a fake. You're a fake, there's no way. Hey, I don't judge, we can still make a deal. Give me something good, Frank. Okay, so let's see, even if fake... Fake katana is over 600 bucks. Well, let's go ahead and give you 600. Let's negotiate, man. I would like to offer you 600. Yeah, even though it's not a genuine katana, uh, I could possibly clean it up and possibly even sell it more. So, offer. Okay, he got it. This is the stuff. F yeah, thank you, mister. We're, we're doing so good in our star reviews. Okay, let's see. Do I need to clean you? There you go. Do I need to clean you? Uh, grinding for scrap metal. Reason to value to 800 to clean it. Yeah, sure. Let's clean you. Oh, uh, let's see, we could possibly repair you uh, to be able to get you to be at 250 in value. Then we can clean you. Yeah, let's repair. Alright, let's head over here. Okay, let's clean you. There we go, we clean that katana, and now we are going to repair you. And so now, 
we need, from what it looks like, is that we need to just to get you all to be looking like, get this to look like this. Okay. Okay, so this has to be a four. So I'll put a four here. Yep. Okay, then this has to be a two. So we're gonna put a two here. And this is also a two, so we gotta put a two here. Okay, so now then all we have to do now is to get you all to be like that. Okay, this 
seconds on this too. Okay, I think this thing needs to go back a little bit. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're getting close. Okay. Okay, 92. value of 800 and we bought it for 600 um I think we're gonna put it down for we're gonna put it down for maybe 700 yeah okay let's let's get you up on that shelf so let's get this katana up on that shelf okay so we bought the katana for 600 so I am going to say 800. We have about 850, but then we're also going to put a discount in of maybe 20%. Okay, but still at 680 bucks, so maybe we'll try 15%. There we go, 720, 723. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Alright. Okay, and my and the thing is fixed, right? <coughs> Sorry, Kenny. Um, they increase the value to three hundred for cleaning. Sure, <coughs> we'll go ahead and do that. <coughs> there. Okay. And now then, let's clean you up. Cleaning shouldn't take long. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's good. So now that we're gonna place you up on the shelf. So let's see. Um, uh, let's see. I bought you for a hundred, and I cleaned it up. I repaired it. So we can expect maybe three hundred and fifty, and then I'll just mark it down with a discount of ten percent. Which means it's three hundred fifteen. 
Um, maybe I'll try 15. Yeah, still, that's, that's still a profit since we only bought it for, like, perhaps 100 bucks. So that's totally a profit as well. So for right now, let's feed our cat. And next customer up, please. What you got? I want to buy this item on this way. Sure, that'll be 723, please. Thank you. Nice, we just made some cash. Hell, I have an excellent collection. Okay, and... What is it? I uh, don't buy this game. Why? No, you misunderstood. Don't buy this game. It is an actual name of the game. It contains five CDs, each with its own worst games ever made. Okay, instead of rejecting the submissions, Firebird chose to mock the original developers by releasing games altogether, releasing them as unoriginal and awful. The barcode on the Rio version ends in 255. Yep, 255 is the actual thing. It's the real deal, so we could... Expect. Okay, so if it's so, we're gonna ask for three thousand. Yeah, the barcode on the real version is a two five five, so it's a genuine deal. So it'll be three thousand bucks. All right, I will check it out with my magnifier. Okay, what do you think? They are authentic games. I'm interested. How much do you want? I want to hear your offer first. These are timeless relics. Okay, let's negotiate. I will buy the newest Skyrim 8. <laughs> okay, sure. Um, let's go for 3,000 at the bare minimum. There you go, 3,000. Okay, you got it. The shot knows the job. I'm happy with my deal. F yeah, we are so good at making reviews. There you go. That's gonna be for the thumbnail for the video. Um, okay, so... Okay, so we should be able... I would like to put you... I would like to put you into the auction. Yeah, I want to put you in the auction for $3,500. Uh, buyout price is possibly going to be uh, $5,300. There you go. Alright. Next one up, please. Hello. Welcome to the Intergalactic Pawn Shop. I am Madame Von Boras. I specialize in offering insights and guidance to people seeking clarity in their lives. I'm looking for my let go for my collection. Let me consult my expert friend on my phone for just in case. These cards are valuable in the hands of people who read them. You can check if they're original or not. Uh, but the original cards can be considered collectibles. They have a tiny logo of a pentagram with a circle on the card. Just like the one you have. Yep! It's the real deal! Okay, so we can expect to, since these are the genuine things, uh, we can genuine tarot cards. So we can only suspect if we're gonna get 875 out of it. Alright. Uh, how do you know my name? Cards show me many different things. Did you encounter many interesting stories? Oh, nice to meet you. Information about my class is confidential. However, if you're open, I'd be glad to go for a reading for a glimpse of passing and walking. 
I'm sure I'm curious. Uh, pick the first one. The moon. Dagger awaits you around the corner. Choose your actions carefully. You can try to save others and are be consumed by darkness. Your path is closed. So uh, you will need to help. You will need help to clear your path. These trouble. These reasons trouble them. What do they mean? Many means they. Many things they can mean. What visions I can offer you is even glimmer, grimmer. Your path is blocked. I see you behind the glass. Um, here is my offer. Um, but eight seventy-five. 875. Okay, you got it. One person... One person in specific rank is pretty solid. We're doing so good at getting our reviews. Okay, let's see. Do I need to clean the tarot cards? No, but I'll sell them for... Let's see... So we bought them for 875, so we're gonna ask for 900. Then we're gonna ask for... 985. Oh, first of all, I forgot to put them... I forgot... There you go. The key nail that I said over here, or possibly put you down for... So this puts you down for a thousand, and I'll possibly give you a 15% discount, which should make it 850. Ooh, we went okay, not 10%. Yeah, that's gonna do. We'll all, we'll make a profit. We'll, we'll be fine. All right. Okay, feed cat. No more customers for today. Nice. Frank's flat. Fish. That's right, we feed our fish. Oops. Frank's thing. Alright, and we rest. Alright, we got... Oh, we gotta pay for oxygen and rent? Oh, luckily, we're seriously making cash. What all the stuff we got? Okay. Sure, why not? I didn't know we gotta pay for oxygen. Okay, we can pay rent, no problem, but I didn't know about the other things. Well then everybody, it looks like this is going to be it for today's video on this game. If y'all want me to continue playing this game, uh, please let me know. Have a good day now.